What's happening is Len Davis uh, with Pangeality Productions here at the Fremont Sunday Market in Seattle. And I was walking along and came up on this exhibit, which if I understand uh, from meeting Daniel here, is sort of an art, uh, artistic expression of his own journey with schizophrenia that he is sharing here with others, both as a personal story as well as helping folks to understand what it's like to go through this. Good to meet you, Daniel. Hey, nice meeting you, Great. too. Can you tell me all about this? Uh, well, uh, originally it just started as a dare um, and then I, what I was scared of and I worked it out into a 10 room, 2200 square foot installation. But we'll start here with others can hear your thoughts and then you go up to um, others can hear your thoughts here and then you go to others are sending you messages. Who are the others? You don't know. Is it people? Is it computers? Is it uh, aliens? Then uh, people with delusions and paranoia, it, especially myself, got a little, get a little angry. And what I did is I repeated love, peace, patience over and over again until I was in the right mindset. This painting is a reconstruction of a painting that I destroyed while I was on a psychotic break. It's working with the cellophane and I'm just trying to create texture and work with the colors. Then that's the non-medicated aspect and then there's the medicated aspect, which you come here, there's a placebo, which is just an M&M, and all the information about Risperidone, and Risperidone is the number one anti-psychotic medication that they give out to uh, people. Then uh, your world is smashed, the music in your soul is gone. Renee, a woman in my uh, group, summed it up the best. You're a stick figure. You have no affect. You try to smile, but you just can't. This picture is outside looking in. This house is a group home that I stayed at while I was recovering. Murphy stayed by my, by my side for six months while I was first recovering. It was great. This is suicidal thoughts. It's just a, a, it's something that you have to address. And uh, this is a painting of Elena, who is my best friend and my inspiration. She is just all around great person that has taken me out of the dredges of schizophrenia into a better world. Nice. So around you are people, it's kind of a flea market, mixed farmer's market, right. Sunday fair. What's your idea of where you fit in and what are you trying to do here? Well, ultimately, I would in this specific spot, I would just like to raise awareness. Um, get people looking at the art, start talking about it. It's, a lot, it's gonna be a long journey. I would like to, to have the installation and a large installation after that. Um, and But build year after year, maybe have two tents at the Fremont Market next year, or get a gallery that I can show my work at. It needs to be framed, you know, more money has to be raised. But so it's awareness about schizophrenia? Awareness about schizophrenia. And through my own journey, which is, very similar to a lot of other people's journeys with schizophrenia. And what's this specific drug is something that you had a positive effect using to your own healing process? Let's wait for that plane to pass for a second. The medication is difficult because you have to take, you have to, to, be, to get better you have to take the medication. And, but you also have to have a right thought process about it. It has to be like, I want to get better. You can't just take the medication and expect it to work miracles. You you really have to change your thought process. And I've been taking it for eight years now, and it's really been a journey as in sometimes I hate it. Like right now, I really dislike my medication and what it does to me. Um, but it's something to, people ask you, are you doing good? And you say, I'm taking my medication. They know you're doing well. And that's really what you're thinking about. So you're taking people through your own journey here with your healing process and the artwork you've created to sort of trace that journey. Exactly. Educating people about what schizophrenia is yeah. and sort of hoping that they can better understand what might be happening in the lives and minds of their loved ones. Yes, you summed it up great. Thank Amazing. you. Amazing. And so what's the idea of the art exhibit and what are you raising money for here? Uh, raising money to uh, rent a studio space. There's a safe space on First Avenue in downtown Seattle that rents the artist by the month. And I would like to have an installation in the, that uh, space for a month and have the art um, framed. And there's a smoke machine, there's a placebo. The smoke machine is when you take the medication, you're walking through smoke. It's kind of, it's very poignant. Um, and then there's just the mirrors and the soundtrack that is the um, light soundtrack that is uh, 
paranoid and delusional people's thoughts going through the sound the sound system and letting people know what it's like and then empathize with people and actually understand what it is and not have it just be so elusive. Wow. Well, Daniel, thanks so much for sharing that. I'm yeah. just appreciating this approach to both your creative process as well as your own sort of healing and introspective journey. Well, thank you very much. Cool. And Hi, this is just the scene. So it's Len Davis with Pangeality Productions here in Seattle at the Fremont Sunday Market, just learning a little bit about schizophrenia. Thanks so much, Daniel. Great. Thank you. Have a good day. Where can people fund the campaign? Uh, www.danielburns206.com, D-A-N-I-E-L-B-U-R-N-S-206.com. Thank you very much.